Hello and welcome to all you Virgos. This is the Mercury retrograde video for you, specifically for the Virgos. Now, I, if you want to have a more overview of your monthly horoscope of June and July, they're already on my uh, YouTube channel. So check out the playlist and you will find the videos there. But this is specifically about the Mercury retrograde because I think it's a very interesting one. And uh, Mercury is your ruler, so Virgos know, okay, we're going to have a couple of weeks again where we are going to readjust ourselves in a certain way and uh, so that we get out of this really, really stronger than before. And this Mercury retrograde happens in Cancer, which is nice because for you, because Virgo and Cancer, they go well together. So it's not a very stressful Mercury retrograde for you. And it happens around and about the 18th of June um, at 14 degrees of Cancer and then it goes backwards and it goes direct again on the 13th of July or around about that timing. So it's going retrograde on the star, on the fixed star of Sirius, which is a very optimistic, um, pride, um, leadership kind of fixed star there. So we are called for being ambitious in a certain area of our life and for you it's your 11th house which is a happy house which is the house of your future your goals um, but also your friends so there could this could be a time for you where you reassess your goals for the future and you've got time for this and this could be a very interesting one so that after the 13th of July or even when it goes out of its shadow side which would be more around the end of July You've got new plans for the future and you implement them. So, um, so that's a very nice energy for you uh, Virgos out there who are saying, yeah, but the new plans, I don't know where it's heading. You've got time to do this. Okay. Uh, of course, as with every Mercury retrograde, watch out that pit pocket of time between the 19th of June and 13th of July for travel, for communication. It all goes a bit more slow, but um, that has a meaning to improve it. Now, another thing, I think is pretty important is friends. Um, I think there might be a friend that becomes a bit more important during that time uh, that might even um, because also the eclipses are happening there and um, so there might be a friend that, that has your attention a bit more and that you need to help out because because of emotions you know the mercury is in cancer so that could be having a hard time and you could be there to um, to help them out, for instance, and that gives you a good feeling, a feeling of uh, um, a feeling of worth. And but but what I want to say here is that you, if you help out others, and when it comes to your friends, don't put your self worth dependent on their word of you. That's an important one because this has just only one stressful aspect with Mars, Mars squaring Mercury in your eighth house of the word that other people give to you. So that's a very important one. Stay with you. Uh, don't do it to get this or that. Uh, do it out of integrity if you want to help out friends or, um, you know, and, and it could also mean that you, you will change your view upon a friend uh, or more friends uh, during this time and that can be in a positive way as well I mean sometimes people think oh I'm gonna you know that friend I'm, I'm gonna find out that he's not or she is not being a good one it could be the other way around as well uh, and especially because this is um, uh, with, connected with Mars and also with Chiron the wounded healer there could be a lot of healing going on between you and friends so be open for that um, just make sure that you hold your integrity and that's the most important thing of course but other people do you cannot control that anyways um, but it could be the, the, the case that uh, a friend uh, that you're saying huh I didn't know that they're actually better than I expected so let's hope it is the case for you and there are other things as well that you know there's a new beginning there and the north note is still very close there um, so I think for most uh, Virgos, it will be more on the positive level because it's with uh, the North Node. When it would have been the South Node there, it would have been more about letting go of a friend. But I think you're going to gain new friends. There could be a new friend coming in, could be an old friend that uh, knocks on the door and it's, you know, rekindling those uh, 
um, shared spirits or how do you say that? Um, so it could be a very interesting and emotional supportive time, not only towards your friends, but also towards you. There's something emotional, nurturing. It's a lot of, it's a big possibility to um, make some friends or maybe one a bit like family, feeling a bit like family. But there, there must be something that they are going through or you are going through with them that uh, triggers this. So, um, yeah, all in all, a very interesting um, Mercury retrograde. Don't want, want to make those videos too long, you know. For you, it's, it's really about your goals and it's really about your friendships. And uh, I think um, it will be a very good Mercury retrograde for you with having those energies in Cancer, which goes so well, uh, sextiling your energy of Virgo. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.